Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at zero online and how to record daily takings if you're a pub, restaurant, cafe, that type of business and you obviously have a till system. Unless the till system directly integrates with uh, zero or any of the others, then you need to record your takings and the VAT element of your takings if you're VAT registered uh, into the system so you can obviously make sure that what you're reporting to HMRC and what you're reporting for your accounts are correct. Now, there's a very, very simple way to do this. We have to basically create a bank account called takings. So you deposit all the takings into there. And then what I will do is then show you what you need to do um, to take it from the takings account to your business bank account when you receive the money if it's paid by card. So. As you can see, we're on the dashboard at the moment. Um, we've actually created the takings account, but I'll just go through the steps that you need to do to create the takings account. Um, and it has a balance in there, as you can see, of £900. So first off, we need to create the takings account. So what you need to do is go to accounting, then chart of accounts. Now you need to add a bank account. Now, um, this is not a bank feed or anything like that. Um, you just need to create a bank account. So you can start typing in takings, uh, account two, because I've already got a takings account so it can't have the same name. It will say here we couldn't find a takings account in the UK. Add it anyway. It will ask for the business account name. So you just type the name again, account code, um, if you want to give it account code, that's entirely down to you. If you find it easier to, to work that way, we use codes and it will ask for the account type. Now, this account type is other, and it will ask for a sort code and account number, but you can literally just put double one, double one, double one as the sort code, and then uh, eight ones as the um, account number. And as you can see here, it's created the account there takings account two. So now we've added the account to deposit all our Z readings from our tills basically. Um, now it's about actually depositing that money into our bookkeeping software so we can then obviously make sure that our sales are being reported correctly for VAT, for accounts, uh, if you're self-employed as your income for your self-employment. Um, and the way we do this is we go to accounting again and we go to bank accounts now you can see the various bank accounts here um, so you've got your main business bank account a savings account the takings account too which is the one we created and this is one I created before it's just called takings account now to record money going into so your daily Z readings because you need to do this on a daily basis now you can do it once a week, but you've got to record seven transactions for the days, if you're open seven days or however many days you're open. Now to record each day's takings, you'll need to go to where the takings account is, go to manage account and go to receive money. Okay, now it'll ask say, it'll say here receive, receive as a direct payment, which is fine. It will ask you to who you've received it from. Now. I created a customer or a contact called takings because this always has to be filled. Um, so just create a contact like that um, or if you want to just do sales or some whatever's easiest for yourself, um, you can always just choose what you would like, like for it to be known as. Um, the date that you're entering, so say for instance we're entering the 31st of March 2019, it'll ask for a reference, you don't need to put a reference in. And then the description is um, Z reading for the 31st of March 2019. The quantity is one, pardon me. Um, and then it's just the amount that you've actually received. So if your VAT register and everything of yours is, is VATable, um, you can literally just put in the number that you took in that day without needing to worry about the VAT sort of split of doing the net, then the VAT. So if it was say, £5,000 is what you received. It will ask you what account you're going to send it to. Now, it always goes to your sales account because in this, it, that, this is your sales. So you've got to put it to your sales account. 
So you type sales, and then it automatically works that there's twenty percent on on the twenty percent VAT on income. But because we've selected the tax inclusive, um, it's worked it backwards. So there's only eight hundred and thirty-three pounds and thirty-three pence worth of VAT. Once we've done that, we'll go save, add another, and then say, for instance, we've got to add the takings for today, so the first of April. Um, we'll just do the same process again, but put the said reading in for the first of April. Now what that does, if I go back to the takings account, you can see here that it's had the 5,000 deposit in. So this is basically saying that my sales are 5,000 pounds. Now you've had, um, you've deposited that, then you've subsequently had the money in the bank from the credit card, um, and you've possibly deposited cash as well. Um, now you've got to make it go into your main bank account. So that's very easy. If you've got a bank feed, it is a lot easier. Um, so if we just go to reconcile these 27 items, and I'll just look for one. For instance, this, I know it's not, but this is the test account. This is money that's received 2,000 pounds. What all you need to do is select transfer, and it'll ask you which bank account you want to transfer it from, and you can go, takings account two, you just press OK. It's literally a transfer from the takings account to the main bank account. And what that does is reduce your takings account over time, and you obviously add to the takings account every day that you add on. But what it does then is transfer the money into the main bank account for you to use as you need to um, with reference to um, purchases and other bits and pieces. And what that will do for the end of the year, just to give you a, sort of a brief um, of how that sits, you at the end of the year you ha you should have a balance in your takings account. Now you'll be running a petty cash account, sort of uh, your day to day receipts. Now whatever bank balance that's sitting at, if it's sitting at a minus, we then use some of the money from the takings account to make that go to zero. And then if there's any money left over in the takings account, it means then that you've taken the money, so we then could put it to your um, director's remuneration or director's loan account. Um, so it just gives us a much easier way to um, deal with that. It does. It, this biz, this idea does work for more than just the sort of catering industry, so the pubs, restaurants, cafes. If you are a uh, car garage that has payments via different means, um, you can do it that way. So you do all the sales to the takings account, and as you receive the monies in, you can then transfer it. It's a much much cleaner way to run your system rather than um, where I've come across with other other companies where they're trying to do it in so many different ways. This just makes it a very, very clean process. One for you to follow and one for us uh, as accountants to follow as well. So it's just a much simpler way to record. Most POS systems now integrate fully with the likes of Xero, QuickBooks Online, and they'll do all this for you. But what they'll do is they'll put it into um, what they call an undeposited funds account which is the same process, we just got to transfer it in. But this, if you want to record it and make it record uh, manually, this is the best way to deal with it. So that's all for today. Um, we are gonna be covering some other bits with Zero with reference to bank rules and customizing the sales invoices, projects, classes, how to deal with petty cash as well. Um, have a look out for the videos. Have a look on our website, because the videos are linked to our website as well. So if you want to have a look at what we do and what we offer, certainly by all means, do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Like we said in previous videos, these videos are for certainly our clients and for the wider public, so then people are not caught out, because today is the 1st of April, today is the new MTD reporting rules, so now it's going to become very, very critical that this stuff is reported correctly and easy, because unless your accountant is helping you do the VATs or doing the VATs for you and you're stuck on your own, this can be a very, very time consuming uh, piece of work, more time consuming than you actually doing the work to get your monies in. So make sure you look at the videos, have a look for them all. If you want to leave any comments, do leave comments. If there's some parts of the system that we haven't covered and you, and you want to have them covered, let us know, we'll get them scheduled in to be covered. But like I said, these are just generally there to help you. And if you want to get in contact, get in contact. Um, and you'll see what we can do um, 
for you. We can help you in any way, shape or form. Um, so like I said, that's all for it today. Uh, we've got another video coming out tomorrow. Uh, I believe on free agent doing the same thing, recording daily daily takings. Um, so if you want to learn on another piece of software as well, see if it's easier on that software. We have got the video on QuickBooks Online and how to do this. It's a very similar process. Um, just keep having a look if you're undecided on which software you, you wish to take or which software that you, you find easier. Do just keep a look out and it might be that these videos help sway you one way or the other. So have a good day. Hope not, not many people give you an April Fool. Um, this is certainly not an April Fool. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.